Ayan, so panibagong video na naman for CE410 or hydraulics. So, para sa video na to ay mag-compute tayo ng mga problems about combined head loss. So sa mga hindi pa nakapanood dyan ng lecture videos ko about head losses, ilalagay ko yung videos o yung link sa description sa baba. Tara! Let's go! So ito yung problem. Problem number 4, determine the total head loss for the given pipeline below using the following data. So base dito sa problem, meron ng given na figure. So ito siya. Merong pipeline. So, yung pipeline ay hindi lang basta composed of pipes no? at meron pang may involved na ibang components gaya ng bends. No? Lumiko yung tubo. So, this is a 90 degree bend o minsan tinatawag nating 90 degree elbow. So, bale yung 90 degree elbow, dalawa siya. Kasi 1, 3, 2. So, along the pipeline din ay merong gate valve. So, ngayon, single lang naman yung size no? para dun sa total run. No? So, yung size ng pipe is given na, which is uh, 100 millimeters or 4 inches. So, given na rin yung C o yung Hazen Williams coefficient para dun sa pipe. Assuming that the pipe is smooth, so that is 140 at yung system flow rate o yung Q which is 150 GPM. So, ngayon, uh, since kailangan nga natin compute in yung total head loss, so, ang required is the total head loss. So, eh, ang formula natin for total head loss is the major head losses or the head losses from pipe friction. So, that is H sub F plus the minor head losses which is caused by other components. So, in this case, meron ditong uh, elbow or 90 degree bend, dalawa, at meron pang isang gate valve. So, dapat kung gusto natin computing yung total head loss at consider natin yung minor head losses, kailangan meron na given or meron tayong data about the minor head loss coefficient of the following component. So, dito, given naman yung minor head loss coefficient, so, for gate valve, 10 daw, yung value ng coefficient, at para naman dun sa 90 degree bend, given na din, yun ay 0 0.19. Pero, kung wala naman given data, no, syempre, ikaw naman talaga magre-research nyan kung ano dapat yung value. So, para lang dito sa ating problem, nilagay ko na siya. So, given na agad yung ating uh, minor head loss coefficient. Pero kung hindi, uh, or kung wala ka man na data para dun sa gagawin mo, si kung design yan, ay pwede kang magtingin sa mga references uh, para dun sa value ng K. Let's go! Ayan, so write down na natin yung ating solution. So, kung titingnan nyo, dalawa lang naman yung ating kukomputin. Yung major head loss o yung head loss due to pipe friction at yung head loss from other components o yung minor head loss. So, simulan natin dun sa uh, major head loss or major head losses. So, para sa major head losses, tingnan natin yung given na data. So, since ang given naman na data dito ay C, uh, ang gagamitin nating uh, formula ay Hazen-Williams equation since ang given naman nga ay yung coefficient for Hazen-Williams equation. So, yung formula natin for Hazen-Williams equation is H sub F is equal to 10.67 L Q raised to 1.85 all over C raised to 1.85 B raised to 4.87. So, ito yung formula for SI unit. Since ang given naman dito, para sa diameter ng pipe ay in millimeters. So, convert lang natin siya into meters. Yung pipe length. So, lahat naman halos ay in terms of meters. Kaya lang, yung Q or yung flow rate ay in terms of GPM. So, pwede natin siyang i-convert into uh, cubic meters per second. So, gawin ko ay yeah, convert ko siya. So, yung Q is in terms of GPM. So, that is 150 uh, gallons per minute. So, since ito gallons per minute, convert lang natin siya into cubic meters per second. So, 
convert muna natin siya in liters. So, uh, 1 gallon is uh, 3.785412 liters. So, multiplied to, so yung liters convert natin into cubic meter. So, ang 1 cubic meter ay equivalent to 1,000 liters. So, yung minutes convert natin into seconds. So, 1 minute is equivalent to uh, 60 seconds. Then, input na natin sa calculator. That is 150 multiplied to, so, yun ay 3.785. Oops! What happened? ulit. Ayan. So, that is 3.785412 uh, over uh, 1,000 times 60. Ayan. So, that is Q in terms of cubic meters per second I 9.4635 times 10 to the negative 3 cubic meters per second. So, gawin ko ay, ayan, store natin siya sa A para magamit pa natin siya later on sa ating solution. Shift, store, A. Ayan, para mas madali na. So, ayun, pwede na ba nating i-substitute yung mga values? So, ngayon, yung mga given na length dito, since kailangan natin siya dun sa formula, kunin na natin yung total length. No? So, yung total length ay, oops, so, gawin ko tong L sub T for total length. So, that is 45 meters. So, kunin na natin yung total length itong buo. Total length ng buo. <laughs> Redundant. Ayan. 45 plus 15 plus and so ito yon 45 15 and 50 yun yung length ng buong run ng pipe so that is uh, calculate natin that is 45 plus 15 plus 50 that is 110 meters Ayan, so, substitute na natin yung mga values para makompute na natin yung major head losses. So, that is, H sub F is equal to 10.67 multiplied to L, which is 110, multiplied to Q, which is a stored value at A, raised to 1.85, all over C, so yung C ay 140, raised to 1.85 multiplied to D. So, D is 100 millimeters. So, convert natin into meters. That is 0 0.1 uh, raised to 4.87. So, yun. Kapitin na natin sa ating calculator. So, that is 10.67 uh, times 110 times A alpha A raised to 1.85 140 raised to 1.85 multiplied to D 0 0.1 uh, raised to 4 0.87. So, yung total head loss, oops, sorry, yung major head losses pala is 1.6785 meters. So, ito pa lang yung head loss no, due to pipe friction. No? So, hindi pa natin ako consider dito yung head losses uh, galing sa mga bends at saka sa gate valve. So, gagawin ko ay store natin to at uh, 
So, saan ba pwede? B. So, star natin at B. Shift store B. So, ayan. Sulat ko dito. This value is stored at B. Let's go! So, ang sunod naman ay yung pag-compute ng minor head losses. So, this is for bagoy natin yung color ng pen. So, gawin natin blue. Ayan. For minor head losses. So, dito wala namang uh, mga sudden or <coughs> gradual uh, contraction or enlargement ng pipe size. No? So, later on, uh, mag-discuss tayo ng problem about doon. Pero, dito ay single lang yung size. No? Uniform lang siya na 100 millimeters. So, ngayon, ang given lang na components dito ay yung bends at saka yung gate valve. So, yung general formula natin for minor head loss ay yung formula na K times velocity head. So, ngayon, uh, since magre-reflect naman yan dun sa lahat ng components, ay compute na muna natin itong velocity head. Since given na naman yung K para dun sa tatlo, so, ah, sorry, velocity head V square over 2G is also equivalent to 8Q square over pi square GD raised to 4. So, bakit ko to ginawa? Kasi nga, ang given na dito sa ating problem ay yung flow rate. So, gagawin ko, computing ko na muna itong 8Q square over pi square GD raised to 4 o yung velocity head. So, tulad ko na dito. So, that is, uh, input na natin sa calculator. Uh, 8 times Q. So, that is the stored value at A. So, alpha A, 8Q square over pi square, shift pi square, multiplied to G, 9.81, times D, which is 0 0.1 raised to 4. So, so yung value ng velocity head ay 0 0.07. So, ngayon ang gagawin ko ay 0 0.07 meters. Gawin natin ay store lang natin to sa sa, sa C. So, stored at C. So, this one is stored at C. So, ngayon, tatlo yung components no, na may involved. So, ang kailangan natin makompute dito ay yung summation, no? ng lahat ng components, no? yung minor head losses no, sa lahat ng components. So, that is uh, H sub L is equal to uh, K. So, simulan natin dito sa, ano, ah, dito sa bends na to. So, ngayon since dalawa yan, dalawa yung <coughs> Oops. Wait lang. Ba't hindi ma-erase to? Ayan. Na-erase na. So, since dalawa to, pwede nating i-multiply by 2 yung para sa bend. So, 2 times K uh, para dun sa 90 degree bend times velocity head plus yung para sa gate valve. So, that is K. Pagawin ko na lang GV to. Just to indicate that itong K is for gate valve. So, multiplied to 2G. So, ngayon, ngayon, substitute na natin yung mga values. That is H sub L is equal to, so, 2 multiplied to para dito sa 90 degree bend, yun ay 0. 19. So, multiplied to 0 0.19 times velocity head which is yung stored value sa C. Plus 
para dito sa gate valve, isa lang yan. So, that is uh, yung KI10. So, ito yun. So, 10 multiplied to the velocity head which is uh, C. Ayan. Then, compute na natin yung value ng H sub L. So, gawin ko ay... Ayan. So, that is 2 multiplied to 0 0.19 multiplied to uh, alpha C which is yung stored value natin at C o yung velocity head plus uh, para sa gate valve that is 10 multiplied to C so press lang natin pang alpha C yan ayun so, yung value ng H sub L is 0 0.76 meters. So, ayun. So, mapapansin nyo, mas mataas yung value ng uh, H sub F, no? Mas nag-dominate yung value ng H sub F. Ibig sabihin, mahaba yung run at kukunti lang yung uh, components gaya ng gate valve bends. No? Pero may instances naman na nagdo-dominate naman yung minor head loss. Lalo na kung sobrang iksilang ng run, pero ang daming components, ang daming valve, ang daming fittings. Ayun. So, ang gagawin ko ay store natin tong value at D. So, store ko to at D para makuha natin yung total head loss. Kasi gagamitin pa natin siya sa solution. So, ship store at D. Ayun. So, gawin ko ay, burahin ko na to. Man, wala na kasing space. Space, 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 space. Ayan. Ayun. So, yung total head loss is equal to H sub F plus H sub L. So, that is uh -huh. H sub F is the stored value at B plus H sub L o yung stored value at B. Ayan. So, yung total head loss is so alpha B plus alpha D. So, yun. Ito yung value ng total head loss. So, that is 1 point... Oops! Hindi pala. Wait lang. Pansin ko parang ang liit ng value ah. Mali. So, ulitin natin. Delete natin to Ayan. B plus B pala. Alpha D. Ayan. Equals. Ayan. Ito para... Kaya pala maliit yung value, but parang one point something pa rin. Anyway, kamali tayo. But, nakorekt naman natin. That is 2.4466 uh, meters. So, ito na yung total head loss. Ah, yan. Dun sa system. Let's go! Ayan. So, take note lang na ito lang din naman halos yung concept o yung way nung pagko-compute ng total head loss sa system lalo na kapag ka, uh, uniform lang yung size no ganito lang siya kadali na computein so may iba lang yan kapag ka may may involve ng mga ibang sizes ng pipe o nag enlarge o nag reduce ng size so ibang way na ng pagko-compute yon o meron ng mga multiple branches ng pipes na dadaanan so ngayon uh, ibang way na rin yun no at idad padadaanin pa natin siya through hydraulic analysis. Kaya lang sa mga simpleng uh, run ng pipe at uniform lang yung pipe size, ganito lang yung way ng pagsosolve natin. So, yun lang para sa video na to. Sana may natutunan kayo at see you sa next video. Thank you so much.